Hey my beautiful, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kahosol, Kahonina with the cuteness, the baddest in the game, the baddest in the school, the baddest in his own lane, and this is my channel. See ya, Shati Zala. Welcome! So what we wanted to do for this video is do a get to know me tag so that you guys could know a bit more about the person behind my photography, behind my writing, and behind the handle. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we begin, the reason why I chose this wall is because it's iconic to so many Kahoso looks that I'll put somewhere around the screen just so that you guys can see a taste of this fashion darling. Get it looks served galore. Let's get into it. So the first question is, what are you studying and where? So I'm studying a BCom PPE, that's Politics, Philosophy and Economics at the University of the Witwatersrand in Brahm. And all I can say is, guys, be sure about what you want to do before you do it. Because guys, meds is not for the light-hearted. The next question is, what are you passionate about? I am passionate about writing, about storytelling, about photography, about just conveying stories of those who have their voices silenced. The next question is, where do I see myself in five years? Hopefully in five years I would have written a poetry memoir, maybe a book, have some influence on fashion culture and just be known for telling stories through writing, photography and clothing. The next question is, who inspires me? I am inspired by a lot of people. I'm inspired by the things I see, my reflection in the mirror, my reflection through other people, their existence, their stories, their voices, and just being true to oneself. I'm inspired by the truth of identity and of being. The next question is, what's the one thing that you would change about yourself if you could? Um, Currently, the journey that I'm currently on, I don't think there's anything about myself that I would change physically. But if there was anything that I had to change, it would be the compassion that I found myself having for other people. I am so quick to forgive and let people back in that sometimes it ends up being a toxic trait of mine. So if there was anything I could change, it would be that. Are you a good secret keeper? Yes, I am. I really am a good secret keeper. That's the truth. The next question is, who inspires my fashion? My fashion is inspired by an area of a lot of people. I'm inspired by the culture, I'm inspired by the streets, I'm inspired by my hometown, Mafiking. I'm inspired by, by fabrics, by materials, by textures, by colors. I'm inspired by experimenting. That's what inspires me. Just being different and unique and true to yourself. What is my favorite song at the moment? My favorite song is IK, the homecoming edition by Beyonce. The pain, the honesty, the... I still care, baby! You know, that I felt that, I felt that. So the next question is, where do you live and how old are you? Well, firstly, sis, if you ain't trying to Uber Eats me anything, if you ain't trying to send me some Postmates, some fashion, it don't matter, it don't matter. At my age, that's a tricky one. It depends who you ask. It depends who you really ask. Out of 10, how amazing is your life right now? Um, out of 10, I think my life is an eight because this journey is all about positivity. It's all about being great. It's about exploring. It's about meeting great people who allow you to be a great person yourself. Have you ever been heartbroken? If you're not trying to break my heart, it doesn't, doesn't matter, sweetheart. Like, uh, Amanda Black, guys, Amanda Black. Following that, they asked, what's the ideal date for you? I think when you're with the right person, anything, is, anything goes. But the ideal date for me would be a poetry night followed by a writing session, listening to beautiful music when your heartbeats get to synchronize with one another. That for me is just beauty. What do you mean? So the next person asks, Kijola Limang wa my top seven. Kijola li Jesu wa my top seven. I'm taking a trust ya my top seven. Wang ku take a ring win. So this person asked me to tell them stories about Johannesburg taxis. There are a lot, but the one that is in the forefront of my mind is on a Sunday, on my way to church. From Bramfontein, I did not know which taxi to take and this man offered to help me. And me being a bit of the 
that I am. I was like, nah, but you go right, go find. I'll find my own way. But I didn't. So I went back to him and I was like, and he helped me. But before I could leave, he was like, Tipa, my boy, in such a late. So I was like, I've only got coins. I gave him five rand. He's like, Nyenzin, I'm a coin. And I'm like, whatever you want. But long story short, he did not leave until I gave him money. And I had separated the money I had in my pockets in hundreds and fifties and I was praying it's in Kulunkulu please do not give him a hundred and a hundred came out. So that was my collection for the month. I gave it to the helpless, to the thieves. <laughs> so this question is what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? They would have named me Kahonina with the cuteness. Cause look at this face. Just cuteness. What? But just, just no I'm joking. That's too much for y'all. How do you define yourself? Um, I actually try not to because I do not want to be limited to the defines that not only the world sets for me but the defines that I set for myself so I would think I am a being trying to explore versatility in its absolute best and trying to explore myself and navigate my existence the best way I can with the best people I find so the next question is what is your favorite TV show? For the longest time, I loved Lucifer, but my new obsession is how to get away with murder because I stay killing you girls. Like, what? <laughs> Are you scared of heights? I am petrified of heights. Despite what you've seen, I've been bungee jumping, I've been falling for people, but I'm afraid of heights. Are you a good cook? No, but I do know how to use Gorabella really well. What is your best physical feature? I'm very attracted to people with beautiful dental structure so I think my best feature would be my smile and darling get a one and two what waist take a waist get a what so yes my waist has to be um, sickening it has to be snatched for the gods who is your favorite writer my favorite writer has to be Maya Angelou Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie they are phenomenal writers I am inspired and I just hope that I could someday somehow be in that league so the next question is who is your favorite musician it has to be Nicki Minaj because sis can move no she can't but sis produces an amazing body of work sis is a visual artist she is so beautiful she's just an amazing music full package full package full package Next! So the next question is, what is your favorite color? For the longest time, my favorite color was blue. But as you can see, purple has taken that spot. And if you know, you would know that I had purple hair before this, so... Tell me what you think about this one. You believe in family? Yes, I do. I think, especially as an African child, family is what keeps you rooted. If your family is toxic, then I definitely believe that you should go out and find your chosen family. But if your family are supportive of you, if your family is there for you, I think it's important to never lose them because it's a bad, bad world out there. And it's a really bad place to be when you're alone and have no one to talk to, no one to comfort you, no one you can say is your baby who can take you home. What is your favorite holiday destination? Wherever the chankuras are, darling, wherever the money is popping, where the wine is flowing, where, where the girl is the girl, where I can be whom I really am. <laughs> what is your favorite book? My favorite book is I Speak to the Silent Bam Tutu Selin Yoga. That is an amazing read. You guys should definitely grab a copy because, wow, I am all for advocating for the expression of people's voices. So when I came across that book, I I knew I had to read it. There was, there was no question. You shouldn't have it either. So this person asked if I had any allergies. Well, I have asthma, and sometimes I can't no no hair. I can't no hair. I can't no hair. What is your most used swear word? I don't swear. Bad bitches don't swear. Bad bitches don't swear. <laughs> Why are you here making laughs though? The next question is, do I believe in charity? Yes, I do. In fact, I actually run a thrift store called The Sanctuary Thrift on Instagram. You can search it at T-H-E-S-A-N-C-T-U-A-R-Y with three underscores. And what we do is 
sometimes with the proceeds we donate those to charity so like last month we donated part profits to an LGBT organization named Out LGBT and we're just playing our part in making the difference and shaping the world we want to see. So this person has asked me to recite my favorite Nikki bar and guys there's a lot but this one this is an anthem. I can even more. Bring the beat in! What? Let me tell you. Okay, I've been a bad bitch, Kakiyana. Santa Niki, we're not Kakiyana. Predecess, Papiyana, give up black at EB. Thank you, next, Ariana. Evil battle to last Lopiana. Santa Tron, give us Lopiana. Give up Bita Opiana. The shut down East Saint Loriana. Kago Batli Pedinia Kablokiana. Get a flow tailor made like Tiana. Banco Bagari style Kapiana. Roger that over Kapiana. Karibu Aniti, you are wet Kiana. Please, let's, let's make a change in this world. So those are the questions. Thank you so much for asking me what you wanted to know. And basically, I wanted to end off this video with a bit of a description of what I want this channel to be, the goal, the vision. And basically, that is, I want this channel to be a platform for stories to be told, for creativity to be explored for people to feel comfortable for the longest time people were not able to express themselves through their clothing through color through fashion through hair through accessories through their being and for once i just want this to be a platform for people who look like me people who relate to me people who sound like me to feel comfortable so thank you for being here and darling I'll see you in the next one. And girl, if you got this far, you've already watched the whole video. So while you're here, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, that will do me good. And don't you want to see a black boy do good? Don't you want to see a black boy do good? And bye! Guys, there is something that has overcome me. But if you go back and listen to Lemonade, by the Queen Mother Beyonce. There is just a different appreciation that I have for that album now because like, I pray you catch me listening. I pray you catch me. I pray you catch me listening. Ooh, I pray you catch me listening. Yes, baby. I pray you catch me praying. I truly appreciate you being here. I mean, why didn't you just come? Uzo join a umdeni wam, u join a family yam, we ube part of Isindosezi in Zayotina, la ekaya yam. Bye! For real now this time.